Hey everyone, it's Andres. Welcome to another tech stream, the first of 2024. I wanted to do one on uh, live reacting to the Samsung Galaxy Unpacked event, but it didn't work out the way I wanted to. So yeah, anyway, these are the video platforms you can follow my show on if you were not aware of that. And if you're curious which where you can tune into my podcast, well, there's quite a few stations that carry my podcast. I have very wide reach, and you can always just get the RSS feed from my website, www.dangerscoba.com. But anyway, let's dive into this, shall we? I want to react the day after uh, the Galaxy Unpacked event from Samsung because they announced the Galaxy AI. Uh, they announced their slew of devices for the new year, 2024, which is pretty awesome. Um, so let, I'm going to do the good, the bad, and the ugly, but in reverse. I'm going to start with the ugly, the bad, and the good of what I liked about the device. And I'm only going to be talking about the S24 Ultra because it's the one that I care about. So first off, uh, let me just say here, oh, Harrison Ford is trending. I hope that's not a bad thing. I'll check it in the bed. I want to be distracted right now, though. Okay, so the ugly. The, I posted this a few minutes. Oh, let me rephrase. After the Galaxy Unpacked event started, um, I was about 15 minutes in and I wanted to pre-order. So this is what I posted uh, on Twitter. I'm never, never going to call it an X post. So this is what I posted on Twitter. Uh, I've been, tr I've been trying to pre-order the galaxy S 24 ultra for the past 45 minutes. We have the website and shop. Samsung app keeps crashing, trying to get the checkout. Good problem to have, I suppose a Samsung mobile. Now I was just, I, I wasn't knocking them or anything. I was just saying, dude, this is a good problem to have, but man, I, I wasn't the only one experiencing this issue uh, where someone said, so frustrating. Why have us reserve when they won't let us order? And someone else said, uh, same thing has been happening to me. Very disappointing since they've been bragging about all the new technology. Uh, someone said, I'm finally in order placed. And sure enough, I'm like, good, because so did I. It took a while. And what I ended up pre-ordering was the one that they're using for their marketing everywhere. The, so the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra in their titanium gray so there's a lot of new features here so the part of the ugly that i was getting at is just trying to pre-order was a pain uh as soon as the galaxy uh unpacked and started i noticed i guess i started to get notifications from uh, some of my favorite tech um influencers and they were all dropping their first-hand looks on everything and i'm like oh man it's just I didn't want to get distracted, so I just tuned into the live stream. Then I followed up on uh, uh, Mr. Who's the Boss. I eventually did check out uh, NKBHD's uh, video, um, just checking out what uh, Michael Fisher had to say on both uh, Twitter or X, formerly known as Twitter, and Threads. He's more talking, he's, he's more engaged in, in Threads right now, and uh, Michael Bryan. So those are the ones that I cared about uh, it tuning into. But as for the device itself, if you guys should all know about this. It's basically the um, Samsung's response to the iPhone for Android. And they, the color schemes, everything is basically the same. The titanium build right into the frame. We'll see about that. Um, we'll see what Jerry Rig, everything, or Zach from Jerry Rig, everything has to say about all this. So let me go through the colors right here. I actually had a, a different window pulled up for that, which was here. But let me you know highlight here. So we got the titanium black. Um, these are the colors that are available mainstream. There are some exclusive colors on Samsung.com, uh, which I have a complaint about one color that's not here. So titanium black, titanium violet, which is more of a two-tone finish. Uh, this one's kind of, yeah, this one's two-tone kind of a titanium blue, titanium green, titanium orange, only available on Samsung.com. Um, uh, titanium gray. Uh, oh, it's, this is a carousel. Okay. So this one, the orange. The green and the blue are all exclusive to Samsung.com. Um, before I get any further on this, can we take a moment to appreciate that this was like the first major uh, device launch that didn't spend one hour talking about cameras? <laughs> they, I think they did it right. Uh, I love that they were highlighting all the capabilities of the device, not just hey, we got a great camera. Let's uh, let us break it. Let us break down the focal length and exposures and how many megapixels and zoom functionality and this and that. No, it was talking about what you can do with this incredible digital assistant that's now more was smarter than ever with AI. And that's really cool. So I, I said the ugly was uh, um, 
trying to order and you couldn't pre-order the device, let me get to the other one, which is here. A shout out to Pocket Now. They're my go-to resource for all things tech. Um, so they have a comparison between S23 Ultra and the S24. Yours truly has been rocking for the past two years, the S22 Ultra. Um, in white, by the way, and it's going to come back to us in the in the bad segment. Um, but uh, I, I love this device despite its caveats. But Anyway, so this is what uh, in Pocket Now had highlighted back then. The pros were excellent large display, fast performance, great pictures, good battery life. Um, the cons were it's not cheap. The charging speed isn't competitive. If I recall, I, uh, the, the price for this device here, um, I bought the S22. Was, I think they were the same price as the S23. And they started at $1,200. That's already steep, steep prices for... Um, but it's a flagship device. I get it. So this is what uh, Pocket Now had to say about the S24. Gorgeous. Uh, the Ultra. Gorgeous, bright, and vivid display. Flagship performance. Of course, you expected improved camera. Uh, new Galaxy AI features, which is going to be part of the good when we get to it. Cons. Cost $100 more than its predecessors, and the charging speed is not. Is not it's still not competitive. I think they're comparing it to OnePlus and their warp speed charging and all that. But... It, it just cracks me up. Uh, uh, they're basically the same thing as the one from last year. However, the Galaxy AI features really sets it apart because the Snapdragon uh, chip and how it's the emphasis is on AI. And that just happens to be at the buzzword of the day. But Samsung actually seems to have done it right. They took what Google uh, built and announced on their Pixel lineup last year and built off that. Uh, like just went to the next step, which is pretty awesome. So uh, I ended up going... I saw this. I said, I got to have it. I'd be traveling abroad. <laughs> so I have a lot of multicultural friends, uh, and I have fans also from all over the world. So communicating with some of them, whether it's Persian, Korean, um, uh, Hindu. I'm not sure if that's the one that I, I get communicated from, from India. Uh, Mandarin, and of course, Espanol. So this is going to come in even more handy. This is all baked in. Uh, the Pixel has a lot of it. It's in Spain, Spanish, huh? I wonder if they just use Spain Spanish. That's pretty cool that when you're using a translation through the call, you can just mute your voice and let the transcriber be speaking it for you. So you don't have to have like two or three or four voices all at once. That's pretty cool. That's the awesome. Taxi driver, you can have the call assist, go text. Yeah, live translate it also gives you a text reading. So I'm going to skip a little more to this. And, and I one of the downsides about all this, of course, is going to be like, well, it's going to be slow. It's going to be these awkward pauses and just trying to get the transcription going. Look, it's better to have it than not to. And I think that's super awesome. I think this is like the restaurant example. You can call the host, live, live transcribe to the, radio, uh, to the rescue. What is this? Um, there it is. Uh, transcribe. Yeah, so it's basically the examples they're already given us, which is really, really awesome. And of course, one of the other features, I'm already going over the good. I didn't go over the bad. <laughs> um, but uh, the, I, I'm just trying to get to that. This is the reason I went for it. But to recap, a couple of the ugly points are, one, if you try to pre-order, you couldn't get it in on time. Uh, and if you don't like the price, ouch. Now, the bad. The bad is that the colors are not the colors that I wanted. I wanted the white one. It's gender neutral colors. Is white not gender neutral? I don't understand. So I, I don't know why they didn't include white, not even as an exclusive color on Samsung.com. Um, yeah, that, that that's my gripe with it. Uh, some people are still talking about the cameras, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's just like uh, an, an incremental 
improvements software wise from last year's i don't care i had the 100 zoom on this one i so it'll be an improvement for me but what matters is the processing at the end of the day because if people just spend time on the megapixels and the zoom functions they're probably never ever use other than just being a gimmick um, you're, you're not really gonna be feeling you're missing out on anything the point is what can you trust it when you need it and I think that's what uh, what it goes for. There's an expression that says in the tech world, the best camera is the one you have on you because you want to at least try to remember that moment. If you don't have the best camera, uh, and let's say you have the best camera, but don't have it on you, then what's the point? So yeah, I just thought I, I highlight that. So bad, I don't have the color, uh, unfortunately. Um, Google, a, I mean, the, the Galaxy AI powered by the Gemini project from Google. As awesome as it is, and one of the really big highlights of it is that uh, you can use it offline. One of the downsides is that uh, now you got Big Brother peeking at everything. So if you already felt uncomfortable with big tech leeching off all your data when you're online, <laughs> now you can't be ever offline. <laughs> as soon as you connect, that's going to be learning. The idea is that think of it as a node. Um, I hope I'm using this expression right, by the way, a, a node to the blockchain um, that is big data tech mining you off you. Um, this is that step. So just thought I'd throw that out there. That's one of the bad. If it act, Actually, that should be part of the ugly, but it is bad that I just feel it's going to be a lot more um, invasion of privacy in that respect. So you should know what you're getting into is basically my point. Um, and let's see here. So I had a duplicate post go up, so now I have to delete it. All right, and yeah, let's see. I already went through that, that, that. Um, but let's get back to the good then. Um, I, I think the good over just if you know what you're getting into with AI and all that, then the precautions are well, take what you can and whatever you don't want to be spied upon, just don't have it on a device. And I'm just going to use it as I always do. I All this stuff that's being highlighted, I use it for work, content creation, uh, but almost all of it is exclusively to, um, I push my phones to the limit. So I run three different companies and that's separate from my content creation stuff. That's either social media or what I do um, here, talking to the camera, talking to the microphone, whether it's an audio podcast, which is a video podcast, uh, whether I'm splicing and putting together to um make videos and content and using images and all that you know it, sometimes when you're on the fly you want to know oh my goodness what is this thing and what is that and it's sometimes you don't you can't get all those answers which is why something like this is awesome i expect to use this too the whole idea of this whole circle thing you see it circle it uh, yeah. right, what about the time i need to stop what you're doing press the home button and long press the home button and then you do that is pretty cool. So that's all I need to highlight for that. It's a three-minute video. I don't have to show you anything else. I'm just going to show you different variations of how they apply it. But that is so cool that you can do the either a social feed or a picture or whatever. But remember, that means that Google is getting even more. Uh, invasive with what it's reading off you. Well, look, if you're already using an Android device, even an iPhone, <laughs> then you've already basically signed over your your life to these digital overlords. So none of this should be a surprise to you, but it's still a valid concern for anybody. If you know what you're getting into, just know that you that's what you're getting into. But as for me, I did order this thing in titanium gray, one terabyte. Um, I, I am trading in my S22 Ultra. I said I was going to talk about some of the issues that I had with this device. Um, I didn't realize until after the warranty period that uh, this one did have the Bluetooth issue that some of these devices shipped out with. So that was a hardware thing, not a software thing. I never approved with software. Uh, on top of that, there's been some buggy hiccups with this thing um, that were a little ironed out with some uh, you know, clearing the cache and uh, some subsequent updates. But overall, um, there were issues hardware-wise with this device that uh, I just didn't. I learned to live with it, you could say. I'm hoping not to run into the same issues with the S24 Ultra. I'm sure it's going to be better. I probably had a, a bit of a lemon, um, but I powered through it and I kept it for two years. So it's even with those limitations, this thing has still worked out fantastic for me. Um, I absolutely love this device, the feel in the hand, although I'm tired of the 
curved display because sometimes when I'm using the device, I'm trying to mean to go to the other side of the, the screen or just trying to move the picture a little bit, but then I trigger the back function because I don't use the navigation bar at the bottom and it's gotten so exhausting. So this device, S24, which is my favorite number, by the way, 24, is a return to the form that I haven't used or experienced since the Note 5, which is a flat display. So I'm looking forward to that, uh, to experience something a little more squared off. I'm one of those that actually use the stylus on the daily. So I'm looking forward to using that. And the cameras, well, I know they're going to be an improvement over what I had. So I, to me, I'm like, okay, cool. But I'm looking forward to using the editing features for um, for pictures, for content creation, um, the S Pen, and just organizing my notes better and just using AI to help me with what I'm doing is what I look forward to use the most. Um, not to mention that I got $100 worth of accessories for free with all this. Uh, but yeah, I am looking forward to uh, to utilizing this device. Lucky number twenty four. So I'm hoping that this is the, the device that's uh, going to power me for the foreseeable future. I had this device for uh, going on two years now, and what is it? Uh, secure seven years of security updates is what Samsung's promising for the S twenty four lineup. I like the sound of that. I, I have my, my brother in law still has his Note nine. He just needs to replace the battery. It's still working good for him, but it doesn't have any security updates. It hasn't, it hasn't for years. So that's the only thing that, well, he doesn't really you know, use the smart features to his potential. So I, I wouldn't think he's as concerned about security as much as I would, where I'm always on it and I'm re relying on all these applications to help me get things done and automation services. So I hope that Galaxy AI, using the controlled environment, I hope that at least 70% of that will work for me when I finally use it in my world environment. Um, because we all know that when it's in a controlled setting, it'll work as, as intended. But once you get into your own hands, it's quite a different experience. But uh, as for me, I pre-ordered it. One terabyte, titanium gray, looking forward to getting it. At least the peace of mind that I have is that the cases that I got for it were available in white. Like, okay, that's making up for my disappointment in the colors of the device. Or at the end of the day, throw a D-brand skin on. But anyway, those are my thoughts there. Um, the the ugly are that uh, if you ran into those tech issues at the beginning trying to pre-order, that's one of them. The price is really ugly. The advantage of that is you trade something in and you can bring that price down. Um, the bad is that they are discriminating against the white color. Why is there no white? I just it's, it's still it's still it's still a grape. Secondly, it's a little too on the nose for an iPhone. I have the iPhone 15 Pro in titanium so it just feels like if i'm <laughs> if i'm updating these devices on a on a on a cycle and i have to get i'm getting them but what in the same color <laughs> I just think that's silly. um besides that is uh <sighs> what else would i find for the bad I, I really can't think of the bad they didn't really highlight decks in any of this oh uh, well the whole you know, privacy concerns and security concerns, which is what Samsung was trying to alleviate with Knox and, and securing your data and supposedly how much control they're giving, you, giving to you over your own data, but you don't always get all that control when you have a Google device. So the good, the AI features look amazing. Mr. Who's the Boss did actually a pretty good summary on that too. I recommend you go check out his video. Um, Titanium, I'm looking forward to that. It's. I hope it's lighter than this thing because this thing's this thing is pretty hefty for what it is. And I always complain about devices being too damn big. But that's because being too damn big and also being heavy was that issue. But I'm looking forward to the flat display and a, and a, a titanium build. Um, and with all those AI features, using the chip that's in it is what I'm most excited about because that's a powerful chip, which is why Samsung, I believe, is promising to keep it um, updated for as many cycles. I don't remember how many generations of Android they said they were going to update it for. It was it three? I could be wrong. But I hope it's if it's at least three. Cool. What I don't like, however, this should be part of the ugly too, is the inability to de-Google these devices. Um, I noticed that Samsung was locking these things down, so I have not been able to find a successful uh, way to de-Google this unless you're using an Exynos chip. So maybe that'll change for the S24. Here's the hoping. Anyway, I gone on long enough. Thank you so very much for watching this tech stream. Check out my stuff at www.newsgobo.com. And wherever you're watching, wherever you're listening, I appreciate you. You're on the podcast. I do recommend you follow via Spotify. That way you can see the video where applicable. That's it. Follow me 
across the socials at the Andre Segovia on Twitter, X um, underscore Andre Segovia. And I'll see you in the next one.